Hello. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to our annual Senior Convocation. As the class of 2020 nears the end of its four-year journey, we take great pride in honoring and recognizing those students who have excelled in the areas of scholarship, sportsmanship, and service to their school and community. These students are the best of the best and have worked very hard during their four years at MHS. They deserve our admiration and respect for their accomplishments. Before we start, I would like to thank all of the organizations that have provided awards and scholarships for our students. I especially want to thank our PTO, Booster Club, and the Band of Music Parents for their hard work and dedication in supporting the high school and its programs. I also want to give a special thanks to our amazing secretaries who have worked very hard during this time to put our program together for this evening. Now, I would like to introduce our assistant principal, Brian Stike, who will help to facilitate tonight's program. And just a, a note, uh, I want to first thank and welcome Mr. Stike to the high school. As many of you know, Ms. Paredes uh, has decided to go back into the classroom and uh, teach German. Mr. Stike has moved from the middle school to the high school, and I am really looking forward to working with, with him over the course of the, uh, the next year. Uh, he's familiar with many of our students that are here at the high school because of his involvement with them at the Edgar Middle School. Before I turn it over to Mr. Stike, I would like to just give a special thanks again to Mrs. Paredes for all of her hard work during her 11 years here as assistant principal. She has done truly a, uh, a phenomenal job. The procedure for tonight will be, I will read the name of the award. Mr. Stike will give the name of the recipient or recipients of the awards. Our first award, National Merit Scholarship Program, Commended Scholars. The certificates are awarded to Risha Desai, Prajit Duri, Sanando Kanjalal, Swagato Kanjalal, Raphael Laxon, Anushka Pandey, Daniel Schleif, Rebecca Trosman, Laura Vaz, Alexandra Wong. The National Merit Scholarship Program finalist. The certificate is awarded to Joy Lee. College Board. National Hispanic Recognition Program. The certificate is awarded to Karina Gallagher. P.E. O Star Scholarship Award. The scholarship and certificate is awarded to Lara Vaz. The President's Volunteer Service Award Corporation for National and Community Service. The certificate is awarded to John Lee. State Seal of Biliteracy. The certificates are awarded to the following. Ariel Benderly, Risha Desai, Karina Gallagher, Saskia Garcia, Charlotte Hawk, Juliana Margolin, Carly Newcomen, Isabel Ruiz, Daniel Schleif, Jackson Schneer, and Regina Wilcox. I would like to add that the biliteracy seal and certificates are um, awarded by the um, Department of Education. These students have excelled in one or multiple languages over their time at the high school. They needed to, uh, to pass a, uh, a test in order to receive the certificate as well as the seal. Congratulations to all of them. Our departmental PTO awards 
Our History Award, the plaque, and a $50 check will be awarded to Daniel Schleif. Our Political Science plaque and $50 check will be awarded to Risha Desai. Our Social Studies plaque and $50 check will be awarded to Diego Ligeron. And Government, the plaque and the $50 check will be awarded to Charlotte Hawk. Our Department Award for English, sponsored again by the PTO, the plaque and the $50 check will be awarded to the following. Dominic Dudley and Anna Sigelkin. Our Departmental Award for Drama, sponsored again by the PTO, the plaque and $50 check will be awarded to Noah Fong. Our Departmental Award in Art, again sponsored by the PTO, the plaque and the $50 check will be awarded to Erica Kosman. Our Departmental Award in Music, again sponsored by the PTO, the check and the $50 check and the plaque will be awarded to Nelson Chi. Departmental PTO Awards, first for French, it's a plaque and a $50 check. Max Gerlach. Our Departmental Award in German, plaque and $50 check is awarded to Daniel Schleif. And our Departmental Award for Spanish, the plaque and a $50 check will be awarded to Charlotte Hawk. Our departmental awards, again sponsored by PTO, in the sciences. For physical science, the plaque and $50 check will be awarded to Sarah Terracina. For life and environmental science, our plaque and $50 check will be awarded to Risha Desai. Career education, our plaque and $50 check will be awarded to Justin Director. Family and Consumer Science, the plaque and $50 check will be awarded to Christina Distazzo. In Industrial Arts, the plaque and $50 check will be awarded to James Flynn. Industrial Arts and Technology, the plaque and $50 check will be awarded to Alexander Dormoy. Our Departmental Award in Math, again sponsored by the PTO, the plaque and a $50 check will be awarded to the following. Sanando Kanjalil, Swagato Kanjalal. Our Departmental Award in Computer Science, PTO Award, the plaque, as well as a $50 check will be awarded to the following. Risha Desai, Tasha Pace, James Strouser, and Jody Zhang. Our departmental award in physical education, sponsored by the PTO, it's a $50 check as well as a plaque, will be awarded to the following. Madison Korchek and Sarah Terracina. Our NJSIAA Scholar Athlete Award, the certificate is awarded to Jody Zeng. And just a, a little bit about that award that normally is a luncheon that takes place in, um, in April. Unfortunately, because of COVID, that luncheon did not take place. But again, a special congratulations to Jody for being our NJSIA recipient. Greater Middlesex Conference Sportsmanship Award. This is a, uh, a trophy that would have been awarded at a luncheon in, um, in March. The recipients of these trophies are Ariel Benderly and Elijah Irvin. The Greater Middlesex Conference Scholar Athlete Trophy is awarded to the following. Sophie Lipschitz and Daniel Schleif. And again, our, um, our Middlesex County Conference, our athletic conference, would normally have held a, uh, a luncheon for the Sportsmanship Award. 
as well as a dinner in June for our scholar athletes. Congratulations to those four individuals for outstanding achievement in sportsmanship as well as in um, academic in your academic career at the uh, at the high school. Each year, the Middlesex County Principals and Supervisors Association honors one senior from each high school in the county as outstanding. These recipients must distinguish themselves in all areas of school life. The award consists of an individual plaque and a perpetual plaque that is dis displayed in the front hall. The MHS recipient for 2020 is Rebecca Trossman. Congratulations, Rebecca. This was, again, a dinner that unfortunately needed to be um, canceled. Uh, it was a dinner that would have been held at the uh, Principals and Supervisors Association facility in Monroe. This one is of particular importance to um, to uh, Mr. Stike and myself, since we both belong to the Principal and Supervisors Association. And again, congratulations to Rebecca on being the recipient of this award for uh, MHS. The Jean LaPree Memorial Award is presented to one member of the senior class of Metuchen High School, who most exemplifies the dedication and community spirit of Jean LaPree, our former superintendent of schools. The award consists of an individual plaque and a perpetual plaque that is displayed in the front hall. This year, the recipient of the 18th annual Jean LaPree Memorial Award is Patrick Kasha. I want to read to you a little bit about uh, Patrick and why he was chosen for this award. It would be an understatement to, char to characterize Patrick as resilient. During his young life, Patrick has endured many hardships. Unless you knew him personally, you would never know. Despite facing tragedy and loss, as well as the anxiety that come with these things, Patrick has managed to always remain compassionate, appreciative, grateful, and focused. He has maintained a flawless academic record while taking one of the most rigorous programs of study at Metuchen High School. He achieved a 35, one point shy of a perfect score on the ACT. While things in his life were far from perfect, he has been a loyal member of our choral club, house band, marching band, jazz band, chamber choir, the footlighters throughout high school. His academic success and musical talent has earned him induction into the National French and Tri-M Music Honor Societies. He is also a peer leader. Patrick has also been a saber fencer for the past nine years. Patrick is an admirable role model and is made up of the highest moral fibers that a teenage, that a teenage may possess. Metuchen High School is lucky to have him these past four years. Patrick will matriculate to Rutgers Honors College in the fall. And I've known Patrick during his four years at the high school, and I want to congratulate Patrick for this distinct, um, distinguished honor. Uh, he is certainly a, uh, a young man that, that is deserving, and I'm very happy for him and for his, uh, for his family. Our 3.5 honors. The high school recognizes seniors who attained a 3.5 GPA with an Outstanding Scholar Award. 
These seniors have worked very hard and have excelled academically for four years. Each student is presented with the medal. And just as a note, uh, just this past week, we had cap and gown pickup, and those medals were included in the packets that were picked up by those students. And the recipients of those medals are Aaron Antaporta, Jonathan Benderly Kremen, Kristen Chan, Tyler Clancy, Benjamin Cunningham, Michael DeCoit, Kenneth Dang Marcus, Justin Director, Alexander Dermoy, Dominique Dudley, James Flynn, Noah Fong, Andrew Fuentes, Angelina Gassaway, Madison Gigrich, Margaret Gross, Parth Gujrathi, Alexandra Harkness, Jay Harry, Elizabeth Yorchek, Abraham Kaplan, Michael Husayanov, Michael Knoll, Ali Kodila, Madison Korchek, Zizong Liu, Angelina Moda, Kushi Parikh, Jordan Perez, Jessica Plunkett, Harris Kaiser, Emma Rogers, Dina Samko, Bridget Sanger, Aditya Sarkar, Andrew Shugel, Paul Sclafani, Donald Solomon, Maya Solomon, Akash Sud, Luke Spaltro, Giacomo Spaziano, Nolan Spera, Arun Subramanian, Dylan Vela, Emma Walters, Allison Westcott, Regina Wilcox, and Youssef Zaki. Congratulations to all of our 3.5 recipients. Our 4.0 and above honor. The finest scholars in the class of 2020 are those seniors who have finished their careers with a 4.0 average. For this accomplishment, they are designated as graduating with high honors. These seniors walk at the head of the processional at graduation and wear a gold medallion and, a, and gold cords to signify their achievement. They also receive a plaque and a check. The 4.0 recipients are the following. Samantha Anton, Kathleen Apau, Ariel Benderly, Mariam Bashara, Joshua Bujbal, Sophie Breeze, April Kalish, Patrick Kasha, Jacob Cherry, Joshua Chuzano, Alexandra Shardello, Jonathan Davis, Flavia Della Femine, Risha Desai, Prajit Duri, Manvita Dodapanini, Isabella Elster, Ian Emanuel, Isabella Favuza, Karina Gallagher, Catherine Garner, Max Gerlach, Charlotte Hawk, Laura Jordan, Sanando Kanjalal, Swagato Kanjalal, Erica Kosman, Raphael Laxon, Francis Lee, John Lee, Joy Lee, Diego Lijeron, Sophie Lipschitz, Juliana Margolin, Rebecca Margolin, 
Tasha Pace, Anushka Pandey, Smruti Patel, Elizabeth Patton, Rebecca Perlmutter, Aaron Puerzer, Luke Rivera, Isabel Ruiz, Annabella Russo, Yukthi Sangoy, Daniel Schleif, Jackson Schneer, Anna Segelkin, Megan Shen, Nelson Shi, Talia Sifnakis, Isabel Small, James Strauser, Sarah Terracina, Rebecca Trossman, Alicia Valera, Jordan Valiquette, Abigail Varga, Lara Vaz, Alexandra Wong, Alex Wu, Connie Ying, and Jody Zhang. Congratulations to all of our 4.0 high honor recipients. The second highest honor that one can achieve academically is being named salutatorian. This year, the salutatorian is a student who is determined, enthusiastic, and, opti and an optimistic young woman who always seems to have a positive attitude and a smile on her face. According to her guidance counselor, Mrs. Hanbridge, even, do even during times when she feels overwhelmed and, stress and stressful situations that arise, she focuses on what is in her power to control and does not perseverate over that which is not. She is an expert problem solver and when faced with an obstacle, will try her best to work through it and think outside of the box to find a solution. She does not just stop when the answer seems to be no, but rather respectfully utilizes her resources and creates opportunities to turn it into a yes. Other, over the course of her high school career, this year's salutatorian has been dedicated to her academics and is someone who sincerely loves tackling new topics and engrossing herself in subjects she is passionate about. She's equally driven by her extracurricular endeavors and has also found a passion in helping others through community service. She has volunteered over 100 hours at the Metuchen YMCA and co-founded the UNICEF Club at Metuchen High School. She is, she is a true philanthropist who has found her UNICEF Club to be her most meaningful activity. She wanted to make a global impact from her small school community. And by founding the club and planning and executing fundraisers, she has been able to do just that. She is planning to study finance and economics at Rutgers University in the fall. I am proud to present to our salutatorian of the class of 2020, Rebecca Trossman. Congratulations, Rebecca. Rebecca will be receiving a check as well as a, uh, a plaque and a salutatorian medal that I hope to award to her after this program airs this evening at her home. Congratulations to Rebecca. Rebecca will also give a, um, an address at our graduation ceremony, which you will hear on the, um, on the 19th of June. Our valedictorian, the highest academic honor is that 
a valedictorian. This year's valedictorian Victorian is a pure dynamo. Ms. DeMont believes that she brings love, intelligence, kindness, and fierce dedication to any community. Despite the fact that she is extremely gifted in many areas, including athletics, music, and academics, she has a welcoming, appreciative personality that attracts all types of people. Her greatest personal strength is her ability to care deeply about the world. She always puts others first and makes sure everyone is included in an activity and she truly strives to make the world a better place. Always witty, with a great sense of humor, she, she also unapologetically advocates for social justice and is surprisingly vocal in her political and world beliefs. Being number one in her class shows her academic dedication, but she also has an unassuming competitiveness and everyone respects her ability to make others feel successful. She is a beautiful poet and writer as she loves words and reading and writing. She intends to major in political science, but also wants to incorporate literature and math. Since politics is what she cares about most, her political affiliated activities are most meaningful to her. What Ms. DeMont personally finds most fun about this year's valedictorian is her love of the flying trapeze, which she intends to continue into college. Along with her challenging coursework, superlative academic performance, and extracurricular activities, she has been active as a community member, working with the Spanish-speaking clients at the Hands of Hope Food Pantry during the school year, tutoring other students, and in her summer vacations, doing uh, service trips to the Dominican Republic and Cuba. She helped build houses, run summer camps for migrant workers, migrant workers' kids, plant uh, managroves and gardens to fight defrostation and environmental uh, de degradation. She is one of the most caring and thoughtful people I have ever met and is a dedicated community member. Ms. DeMott sums it up by saying she is a beautiful person, grounded and deeply committed with a wonderful sense of humor and a desire to change the world for the better. We wish her all the best as she continues her education at Brown University. I am proud to present the valedictorian of the class of 2020 as Charlotte Heck. Charlotte, congratulations on being named our valedictorian. I believe that Charlotte held the number one spot in the class since the um, end of her freshman year, beginning of her sophomore year, although we don't necessarily have um, rankings at that time. Looking back, she's maintained an impressive GPA over that period of time. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with um, Charlotte over the course of the, um, the last number of weeks in planning for what we would like to do as far as graduation is concerned. And she's been a joy to work with and just a pleasure and somebody who is truly a dynamo. And I, uh, I know that both she and Rebecca are gonna be very successful in their future endeavors. Rebecca and Charlotte will be receiving the Board of Education Academic Award as well as the High School PTO Academic Award. And as I said about Rebecca, I hope to be presenting these to uh, the two of them at their homes after, the, um, after this 
program this evening. In conclusion of this phase of our senior convocation, I would like to congratulate all of our award winners for their achievements and wish them the best of luck and success in the, in the future. We are now going to move on to our scholarships that normally are presented uh, the night of graduation. I felt that it would just make more sense for us to award these scholarships this evening during our senior convocation. We have a number of scholarships that will be given out uh, this evening and the checks will be mailed to the homes of the recipients. I wanna just take a moment and again, thank our organizations in town for their um, donations to our scholarship program. We give over $70,000 worth of scholarships and it is truly an honor to stand here and to call the names of each of these scholarships and to award these scholarships to our deserving seniors. Again, a special thanks to our community that supports our high school the way that they do. The Alicia Carmine Memorial Scholarship, Shine Like Alicia. The recipient is Jody Zhang. Rose and Armand Polyphrone Memorial Scholarship. The recipients are Isabel Small and Emma Walters. The auxiliary of the JFK Medical Center Foundation. The scholarship is awarded to Tasha Pace. Barbara McIver Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Joshua Bougeball. Bernie Hurst Memorial Swimming Scholarship is awarded to Daniel Schleif. Bill Zatorski Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Elijah Irvin. Gordon Family Memorial Scholarship is awarded to the following. Emma Walters and Patrick Kasha. Borough Improvement League Scholarship is awarded to Aaron Puerzer. Brian McConico Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Akash Sud. Campbell School Alumni Scholarship is awarded to Abigail Varga. Community Foundation of New Jersey, Vincent P. Utz Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Margaret Gross. Connor McCadden Memorial Scholarship is awarded to the following. Jody Zeng and Lara Vaz. Dennis Michael Walker Scholarship is awarded to Tasha Pace. Donald and Joyce Wernick Scholarship is awarded to Charlotte Hawk. Donated by MHS Class of 1968 Scholarship is awarded to Francis Lee. Dr. George E. Ludwig, Family Dentistry, Health Profession Scholarship is awarded to Patrick Kasha. Elise Brevet Memorial Scholarship is presented to Dominique Dudley. Garden Club of Metuchen Award is presented to Regina Wilcox. Helen Iskowitz Memorial Library Scholarship is awarded to Yukthi Sangoy. Irene K. Gazda Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Ali Kodila and Smruti Patel. Jack Cunningham Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Elijah Irvin. Jack Waldman Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Davey Meha. James E. and Teresa R. Kelly 
Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Aaron Puerzer. John C. Novak, Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Ariel Benderly. Joseph Goronsky, Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Emma Walters. Karen Germain Cafaro, Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Isabel Ruiz. Kelly McCaffrey Scholarship is awarded to Sophie Lipschitz. Mason Prickett Scholarship given by friends and class of 1964 scholarship is awarded to the following. Sarah Terracina and Raphael Laxon. Metuchen Edison Women's Club Scholarship is awarded to the following. Connie Ying and Karina Gallagher. Metuchen Elks Lodge Youth Activity Scholarships are, are awarded to. Emily Almeida and Mackenzie Baker. Metuchen Music Enrichment and Development Organization, Metuchen Music Parents, Ed Logue Scholarship is awarded to Flavia Della Femine. Metuchen Music Enrichment and Development Organization, music, uh, Metuchen Music Parents, Tom Washalishan Scholarship is awarded to Aaron Puerzer. Metuchen Education Association Scholarship is awarded to Rebecca Perlmutter. Metuchen Education Foundation Trustee Scholarship is awarded to the following. Smruti Patel and Isabella Favuza. Metuchen Education Foundation Trustee Eileen Duffy Memorial Science Scholarship is awarded to Connie Ying. Metuchen Education Foundation Varese Mason Memorial Scholarship is awarded to the following. John Lee and Sarah Terracina. Metuchen Education Foundation Marcia Hols uh, Marcia Holzman Memorial Educational Leadership Award is presented to Yukthi Sangoy. Metuchen High School Boys Soccer Black and Blue Scholarship is awarded to the following. Luke Rivera and John Davis. Metuchen High School Class of 2020 Scholarship is awarded to Lara Vaz. Metuchen High School David Weissman Art Scholarship is awarded to Jody Zhang. Metuchen Para Professional Association Scholarships are awarded to the following. Andrew Fuentes, Ali Codilla, Emma Walters, and Luke Young. Metuchen Parent Teacher Council Merit Scholarships are presented to the following. Nolan Spera, Regina Wilcox, Jody Zhang, Jacob Cherry, Madison Gigrich, Ariel Benderly, Patrick Kasha, Justin Director, and Raphael Laxon. Metuchen Parent Teacher Council, Varese Mason, Community Service Scholarships are presented to the following. Do you have those names? I don't have that sheet. Catherine Garner, Karina Gallagher, Daniel Schleif, Aaron Perzer, Juliana Margolin, Rebecca Margolin. Metuchen Soccer Club Tony Black Memorial Scholarship. The recipients of the scholarships are Jonathan Davis, Thomas Cordes, and Elizabeth Jerzyk. Metuchen Police Benevolent Association Scholarship. 
is awarded to the following. Newt Noel and Anoshka Pande. Metuchen Volunteer Fire Department Scholarship is awarded to Sophie Breeze. We got Raymond Agnes. Yeah. Okay. Raymond V. Diagnes Memorial Business Scholarship is the scholarships are awarded to the following: Emma Walters and Rebecca Margolin. Riley Financial Group Scholar Thespian Award are, re, are awarded to the following. Rebecca Margolin and Nolan Spera. Riley Financial Group Scholar Athlete Scholarships are awarded to the following. Emma Walters and Elijah Irvin. Richard Harold and Charles Schultz Scholarship is awarded to the following. Patrick Kasha. Richard Sullivan Memorial Scholarship is awarded to. Madison Gigrich. Roger W. Ralph Memorial Scholarship is awarded to. Elijah Irvin. Scott J. Dopart. Baseball Scholarship is awarded to Jay Harry. Stephen Crevet Memorial Music Scholarship is awarded to Aaron Puerzer. Theo Clark Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Joshua Chusano. Thank you. That concludes our scholarships that, as I said before, we would normally give out during uh, graduation. The, again, those scholarships will be mailed to your home if you're the recipient of one of those scholarships. And I wanna again thank Mr. Stike for his help with tonight's program and reading the names. I also want to thank him for his service. He is a member of the uh, National Guard, Air Force National Guard, and recently just came back from deployment from the Middle East. Thank you, Mr. Stike, Thank you. for your service. Tonight, we are also announcing our STAR Awards recipients. Our STAR Awards are awards that are chosen by our students and faculty. Um, our students, as well as our faculty, have an opportunity to nominate uh, candidates throughout the, uh, throughout the school year for several different categories. Uh, tonight you'll hear our categories and you'll also hear our award winners in each of those uh, categories. I wanna take a moment to thank our advisors, Ms. Lowen Mrs. Lewandowski, as well as Mrs. Um, Saramac, who are our co-advisors to our STAR Awards. What would normally happen is that we would have a dinner uh, that would be hosted at the uh, Presbyterian Church, uh, but due to circumstances, unfortunately, we're not able to, uh, to have that dinner. So I will read the, um, the name of the award, give maybe a little bit of a history behind it, and uh, Mr. Stike will, will announce the names. Our Rookie of the Year Award, and there are actually two awards for this. Our Rookie of the Year can take on um, two different, um, can be looked at two different ways. First, it may be given to an incoming freshman, or it's also given to a student that's new to the high school who has really made an impact in their first year in the high school. So our Rookie of the Year awards are presented to the following. Sam Kaguma and Andrew Nussbaum. Our Bulldog Award, there are also two awards, uh, and two recipients for this award. Maggie Kleiner and Lara Vaz. Our Helping Hand Award, it's again, it's given to two individuals that are very deserving and who not only have helped <clears throat> throughout the school, um, the high school, but also throughout the community and um, anytime you turn around, 
they're there offering whatever help they can give. So the, the two recipients for this award are Anna Kelly and Ben Salaski. Our Spirit Award, and I think that speaks for itself when we have our, our Spirit Days and we have our Spirit Week. Usually this individual is leading the charge with whatever it is that we're doing to promote spirit in the school. And that recipient is Hrude Shah. Our trailblazer is somebody who I admire an awful lot. It's somebody who's not afraid to take a, uh, a risk. And um, if the risk doesn't work, they pick themselves up and go on to the next one. Our trailblazer award winner is Samar Manga. Our unsung hero award is presented to Sarah Lignell. Our Distinguished Writer of the Year. The award is presented to John Lee. And these next two categories have two recipients. Two recipients. Uh, first, our Theatrical Performance of the Year. The two awards are presented to Rebecca Perlmutter and Emma Rogers. Our Musical Performance of the Year. Again, two award winners. The two award winners are Dominique Dudley and Annabella Russo. In our artistic performance of the year, two award winners here and the two recipients are Alex Liu and Jaya Rao. I'll take, I'll take the teachers. As I mentioned earlier, we also have a, um, a number of awards that go to our our teaching staff. And we also give awards to community organizations that have been very instrumental in um, here at the high school. Our first organization of the year is our house band. And our house band is made up of a number of our uh, very fine um, students who are musicians. They have an opportunity to play uh, during our lunches throughout the, uh, the school year. They're also involved in our, um, our holiday programs around the holidays, and in particular, when we um, have our fundraisers for families in need, they play an integral part in uh, helping us raise money at that time of the year. Our support staff of the year is Mrs. Charlene Nichols. Mrs. Nichols, works in our front office, but I know that she would want me to say that it's a team up there with Mrs. Maranovich as well as Mrs. Mallory. Um, the three of them are phenomenal, and they are the face of the, uh, of the high school as you walk in. But congratulations to Mrs. Nichols and to um, all of our staff in the front office. Our faculty member of the year uh, this is given to two uh, members of our teaching staff, and the two individuals are Alexa Baird. Ms. Baird. Ms. Baird is an English teacher, and Bonnie Stansky, who is our uh, foods teacher and probably has the most popular class in the, in the building. Our Faculty Helping Hand Award is given to somebody who I truly, truly admire and will be retiring at the end of this school year, and that's Dr. Roseanne Kamen. And I want to wish Dr. Kamen all the best in her retirement and thank her for the many years that she put in at Metuchen High School. And I want to step out of my role as principal and as a parent thank her for the education that she gave to my two children during their time here at the high school. Our Community Organization of the Year. And this is an organization that we cannot function without, and that's our Metuchen High School PTO. And to uh, Audrey Hauser, who was our president, who um, has done much for us at the high school and continues to uh, be innovative in what she'd like to do for us, and more importantly for our students at the high school, uh, the PTO has been a, um, it has truly been a blessing for us to have. Our club advisor of the year, Yoko Kato. 
Yoko has several clubs that she is involved with. Uh, just recently, she's taking on a uh, rain garden project that will be constructed uh, in front of the school as well as behind the school. But she is very instrumental in many of our, uh, our clubs here at the high school, and I want to congratulate Mrs. Cotto. Our Faculty Spirit Award is Ms. Linda Wisniewski. Ms. Wisniewski is a special education teacher at the high school and is very involved in many of the events that we have here at the high school. And again, a well-deserved honor. I want to congratulate all of our student award winners as well as all of our faculty and organization award winners um, of our STAR awards. And I believe the two advisors stopped at houses um, last week to drop off the awards um, individually to the student award winners. So again, thank you. In order for our STAR awards to be successful, there are a number of organizations in town that contribute to the STAR awards. And I'd just like to read off who they are. First, NJEA, which is the New Jersey Education Association, which um, helps in um, helps to fund some of our awards. The MEA, the Metuchen Education Association, which has been in instrumental in many of um, some of the new projects that we have here in the high school, as well as um, continuing looking to advance the education at, in the district, but I particularly want to thank them for all that they've done at Metuchen High School. The Metuchen YMCA um, has always contributed to our STAR awards, and I want to thank them for their contribution, as well as the Metuchen Chamber of Commerce for their generous donations um, to the STAR awards. We're able to get gift certificates from the Chamber of Commerce that our students can use throughout the, uh, the town. All of these organizations are instrumental in making the STAR Awards what they are, and I want to thank them for their participation. And I want to congratulate all of the uh, STAR Award winners that were announced this evening. Um, again, as I mentioned, there's normally a dinner for the STAR Awards, but I felt it only fitting that we announce them here at the uh, senior convocation. Just to review the, uh, the next week worth of activity, we, um, we began this afternoon with our uh, drive up graduation that will continue throughout the week. And on Friday the 19th at five o'clock, we will be airing our virtual graduation. I ask that you continue to look for emails from the high school as far as any updates concerning uh, any events that may take place during the, the summer. Again, thank you, good night, and we appreciate your attention. Thank you.